Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Start you off with a little view, kind of pretty out there right now. Mostly clear skies. You'll notice some uh, clouds off in the distance. Uh, we're looking at Salinas. And of course, that's the marine layer, which is really just up in the northern half of the bay right now over towards Santa Cruz. Highs today were cool. In fact, one of the coolest spots was Santa Cruz and Watsonville, middle 60s. Even the inland valleys, just upper 70s in the warmer spots. And the 81 in King City, 80s were actually hard to come by. What a change uh, from a few days ago when we were looking at 103, 107, 109. Central Valley, of course, still pretty hot. 92 in Sacramento. That's not too far off of average. 104, 105, though, Fresno, Bakersfield earlier today. Desert still cooking 112 in Palm Springs and mostly 70s up and down the coast, including San Francisco and Monterey today, 75 to 76 degrees. Temperatures, again, still mild locally, 72 Monterey, 74 San Francisco, 80s, 90s. Still triple digits, though, Fresno and Bakersfield, 103, 104. No sea breeze coming to cool you down there, 105 out in Vegas and some 70s up there in Lake Tahoe. Of course, once you get away from the coast, look at the relative humidities. It's all dry, 10 11 percent and during the height of the day it was down about five or six percent and that's really the case across the western half of the U.S. and that's why most of all of the western half is kind of desert climate out here. Yeah, Utah, Nevada. Look at the relative humidity is very, very low. Back east, though, it's kind of that dividing line between the Mississippi and then you go eastward. Look at the relative humidity. 90 percent Atlanta, 75 percent Boston, New York. Uh, down to D.C. So there's a lot of extra moisture in the atmosphere. That's why they make a lot more rain than we do here out west. And there it is. Showers, thunderstorms, a lot of them over the southeast. That's Claudette, tropical storm heading off to the northeast, now racing away from the coast. Will not be an issue for anybody from here on out. We do have a weak area of low pressure off the coast. You can see it in water vapor imagery right there, that little swirl. There are some clouds with it. No actual rain, but we did have some mist and some drizzle up towards uh, Santa Cruz last night and this morning. You can see that rotation there. Of course, the low clouds are coming from south to north right now. And again, tomorrow we'll see 60s and 70s coast side, but 80s and 90s. A little cooler in the Central Valley. High of only 98 in Bakersfield, Fresno 96. There are your low clouds coming back in overnight. You can see some of that little bit of green there showing up maybe over in Santa Cruz. A little mist, a little drizzle along the coast. We'll get that clearing. Could be later though, Santa Cruz earlier around the peninsula tomorrow if you're heading down to the beaches. 52 to 57 overnight. Again, the fog's back. Low clouds starting you off at the coast tomorrow, mid 60s to middle 70s. Warmer temperatures though on the peninsula than Santa Cruz tomorrow. So kind of the flip of the usual deal. 70 to 81 for the valleys and hills. That's not all that warm. In fact, in a lot of cases, that's a few degrees below average. 70 in San Francisco, 77 in San Jose. Very pleasant inland valleys and hills, upper 60s to around 70. Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond, Santa Cruz, 67. Capitola, about 65. Coralita, 68. Upper 70s, Gilroy, Morgan Hill. So we'll say that's about three degrees below average. Middle 60s in Moss Landing. 70 here in Salinas, 76 Gonzales, and an 81 in King City. Around the bay, again, low to middle and upper 60s with low 70s in Monterey, 67 in Seaside, 78 in Carmel Valley. Taking a look at your KSBW eight-day forecast. Marine layers in town Tuesday, Wednesday. We may see a little bit of a brightening of the skies Thursday, Friday for us at the coast. Middle 60s to middle 70s. We will have sun, though, in the afternoons every day. And for the valleys and hills, a very mild, let's say very close to seasonal averages here next few days with anything maybe even a little cooler than average Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then we're warming up and there is an indication that there may be another sort of heat wave, maybe not locally here. We'll have to see Oregon, very far northern California could be really hot really? middle or end of next week. Yeah, we're looking at some signatures for heat and it's looking looking toasty, but of course that's a little ways off. Hopefully it'll be north of us and not mm -hmm. locally, but that could impact places like Redding. Uh, maybe north of the Bay Area, and of course that will increase fire danger yeah. right. a lot. Yeah. yeah, they've got a lot of fuel up there. They mm -hmm. sure do. Okay. Weather